In the last session, we have covered NPV and IRR methods. In this first topic for this session, we'll be starting is internal rate of return method. Internal rate of return method came into existence because of the disadvantages of your NPV and IRR. Now, if you see the major disadvantages of NPV and profitability index method. Now, you see the major disadvantage of NPV and profitability index method was how do we get the discounting rate of 10%, 12%, 14%, right? How do we get that 10 and 12? That's why IRR came into picture. The main aim of IRR is to find out that rate of return. Right? And how do we find that the rate of return IRR actually focus on? So in IRR is what the rate of return, that rate of return at which your inflows are equal to outflows. That rate means present value of cash inflow is equal to present value of cash outflow. That is your internal rate of return in short. What rate? Your inflows become or it becomes at 10%, it becomes 11%. That will be your IRR. And which inflows and outflow? Present value of inflows and outflows. So let's see how do you do IRR method. Now, for example, in this illustration, if you see, the given you cost of the project is rupees 32,400. It is expected to generate cash inflows of 16,000, 14,000 and 12,000 throughout its life of the project. Calculate the IRR of the project. Now this method is mostly if you see a trial and error method. You start doing with trial and error see at what rate or percentage your inflows become equal to outflows. We tell you normally we advise you start with a 10%. 10% gives you an idea which side to go, more than 10% or less than percent. Now higher the percentage, keep in mind the amount will become less. Lower the percentage, the amount will become higher. So it will give you an idea which side to go to take into consideration is the IRR into picture. right? Now for example, in this thing we started by a trial and error of 15%, just to see whether your inflows become outflows at 15%. Right. Let's start with the inflows. Inflows are 16,000, 14,000 and 12,000. Discounting rate at 15% is 0 0.870, 0 0.726, Now when you multiply with your inflows with a discounting factor, what do you get? Present value of cash inflows. So 16,000 into 0 0.870 will give you will give you 13,920. Continue. 10,554. 7,896. Now when you multiply all of it at 15%, how much you get present value of cash inflow? 32,400. Outflow was how much? 32,400. Now if you see at this rate NPV is 0. It means IRR is that rate at which your NPV becomes 0. And when will NPV become 0? In which your inflows are equal to outflow. So I can say what is the rate of return? Rate of return over here is 15%. And this is more a trial and error method. For example, if the answer would not have come at 15%, you would have taken another percentage. Depending you want a higher amount or a lower amount. So mostly a trial and error method. But the major disadvantage of NPV and profitability index was what? Why do we take 10%, 12% as discounting? And IRR remove that limitation. The main sole objective over here is to find out that rate of return. That rate of return at which your inflows become equal to your outflows over here as such. Start by trial and error and see what rate it happens and this is what internal rate method is all about you can say various advantages time value of money is taken into consideration similarly it does not assume a discounting factor but it suffers from various disadvantages also it's a time consuming process now in this case we got 15 percent and the amounts were less think about a case and the amounts were different and they were different amounts that's why in that case the activity becomes a different process. So in that case is we take different percentages and we start assuming at what rate your inflows is equal to your outflows. So the disadvantage is very cumbersome. Keep on trial with trial another 10, 12, 14, 16 and you say what rate your inflows become outflows. But if you see the widely used method today is NPV or IRR and they all have a controversy which is the best method.